We crooked. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, babe. Baby. You are very far away from the table. I, I'm realizing that, Come actually, in. a little bit. You there. did not really make much of a move, but that will do. This is better. That's better. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Buster the Meeple, a channel all about... Board games. And... Springtime. Yes. Springtime and flowers, baby animals, and uh, mud. Why and baby rain. animals? That's when the animals have their babies. Is that true? Yes. Why couldn't they have babies all year round? It's too cold or too hot. Someone needs to fact check this. Look up springtime baby animal. You'll find it. It's well, a thing. yeah, of course, but I'm sure if I Googled fall time baby animal, I There get... are none. Okay. Only accidents. <laughs> We are here today to do a video all about springtime games because spring has sprung. I think. What's the date? First day of spring. March 20th. So it is already spring when this video goes live. That's nuts to me. Yeah. Okay, fair. Technically it's spring, but it's not spring out. It's it was. It's freaking cold today. It's just today. cold today, but there's no more, well, I just looked, there is there's snow. There's literally snow right there. Yeah. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're here to do a video all about springtime games or games that invoke the feeling of spring. And Jeff doesn't know that I picked some of these and I picked all of them and he agreed to some and not to others. I don't even know what's going on here. I have an itch on my nose. Somebody is thinking about me. They're thinking about me. So we have 10 games to talk about. Are you ready to go for it? Yep. Do you know what we're talking about no though? No idea. Springtime games. Games that make you feel like the springtime. You know that smell? Yes. That springtime smell? These games all smell like that. Are you yawning? Yeah. I'm just coming out of hibernation. The first game that we are going to recommend is a springtime game. It's, we don't have it. We don't have it, but it is Tussie Mussy, and this is a button shy game, which is just a tiny little card game all about flowers. It was really good. We played it while we were at Dice Tower West, and essentially this is just a card game. No, I didn't mention that we played with Ilya and Tyler. We played with Ilya and Tyler from Cabre, who we love. See, I got your back, guys. You're welcome. In Tessie Messi, you have cards that have flowers on them, and you're going to present, you get to look at your cards, you get to present them to the person next to you, one face up, one face down, and they have to decide if they want the face up card, which obviously they know what it is, or the face down card, which could be a bit of a risk. So they take one, and then at the end of the round, it's kind of like a set collection game. So you're going to have some- They don't some... get to flip the card up either. No. So you're going to have some cards that are face up and some that are face down. One is called like your bouquet, and the other is called something else. But bouquet bow what's a bouquet? a bouquet a bouquet a bouquet a bouquet are you bouquet and then they're going to score accordingly based on whatever the cards either say or the type mm -hmm. of cards that they are some score better if they're in the bouquet i'm gonna smack you with a bouquet mm -hmm. this is just a really quick simple card game that is all about flowers like what is more spring than flowers besides okay, baby animals the, th the actual theme yeah just to be clear sure is exchanging of flowers in victorian era yeah in the springtime Yes, in this room. It's up to interpretation. But that is the first game. Would you not say that that kind it's of very, gives you spring yes, vibes? Yes, I mean, it's very flowery. And, and you know, if you didn't know the theme. Yeah, which I didn't. And we're just playing it. It would invoke springtime flowery stuff. Exactly. I have different reasons why I picked all of these games. All right. Now. Some of them make yeah. sense and some of them don't. <laughs> It is what it is. The next game that we have on the list is Mariposas. And this is an AEG game designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, who also designed Wingspan. Mm -hmm. In this game, you have butterflies that are going up this track. And essentially, it's like the life cycle of a butterfly. And they live and then they die. And bugs also is, make me think of spring. It's very true. They do die. Right? It's kind of sad. It's a little bit sad. You basically but that's are sending off your early generation butterflies yeah, off into the cities, the far cities. Yeah. And then they die. And then they die. But you're just trying to like reach the top and then come all the way back with your group of butterflies. Well, the... You keep saying you go, you go to the top, at the top, the top of the board, but that you're not like you're going to a far city and then coming back. Yeah, you're going to cities to the top of the board. <laughs> the point is, bugs make me think about spring because bugs sleep in the winter time, or at least they do here in Canada. You don't see bugs unless they're hiding in your home during the winter, and mm. then suddenly during spring, one faithful evening, you'll look out the window, boom, moths everywhere. Suddenly, but June bugs 
everywhere. Ugh, gross. June bugs are fine. They're disgusting and I hate Jamie them. Jamie hates June bugs. I hate them. The point is, Mary Poses is all about butterflies and butterflies invoke the feeling of spring. That's true. Because, it's very true. Right? Because I'm with butterflies you on that one. also like to sit on what? Flowers. Do you see the connection here? So I think mm -hmm. that if you're looking for a springtime bug game, you can't go wrong with Mariposas. Or as Jeff calls it, Paraposas. Parapeza. Paripeza. For everyone looking for a bug-themed spring game. <laughs> Look no further. Mariposas is the one you're looking for. It is. All right, next game on the list is one that Jeff will be able to talk about more because this game still confuses me just a little bit. <laughs> and that game is called Q-Birds. Little birds. We Minecraft think about spring. Birds. That's the sound of spring. Little birds going. Yeah. And then you put the birdie seed out. Yeah, that's and what they we come do. And, munch. and then the cats watch them through the window. That's very springtime. Jeff, tell the people a little bit about Q Birds. Q Birds is a set collection game in its pure and simplest form. And essentially, you are trying to either collect one of seven different types of birds. It could be eight. I can't remember exactly. Or three sets of the same bird the same bird you're trying to collect sets kind of basically the interesting thing you can only take the inside birds so you would have let's say you have a parrot and then two flamingos if you played a parrot on the other side you would take the flamingos into your hand only if it matches the outside bird seems confusing inside it's bird, not outside bird very heavy complicated game. it's not and the colors are very like spring as they're like you know the nice greens and the pinks and the bird colors and birds are very spring when i hear birds that's how i know spring is here other than winter birds but we're, t we're not talking about them no they don't count like blue jays yeah no they don't count chickadees no i'm talking about like summer birds robins spring, springtime birds not summer we're Jungos. not right there what's a jungo junko Junko. It's those little gray birds. Oh, they're cute. Robins are how you know the springtime is here. They come and eat the worms it's true. in the rain. Next game on the list we actually own, and that is Dale of Merchants 2. Now I picked this one specifically because when I look at it, it makes me think about spring because the tree is very pink and there's a bunch of animals. And what have we already said? Animals equals springtime. So basically Dale of Merchants is a card game where you play a merchant. Each person plays as a different like character, a different type of animal character. Character. Yeah. So there's faction. Yeah, factions. There's owls, sloths. In this set, there's sloths, owls, lemurs, platypuses, alligators. Platypi. Platypi. They all play a little bit different, but you're setting up your little market stall and you're just kind of building that out in the springtime, is how I feel Unconfirmed. about it. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed, but look at those pretty pink flowers. Those do remind me of spring. Pink, pink flowers. Pink flowers are No, spring. sorry, pink leaves. Yeah, it's a tree. Are spring. Yeah, and when do you feel like going to the market for the first time after winter? In the spring. That's fair. Right? Yeah, See, I'm with you there. Everything connects in the end. Our farmer's market opens the in the end. spring. Yeah, it opens in the spring. So that's what Dale of Merchants makes me think of. It's a cute little fun card game, easy to travel with. Uh, when you go on your spring vacations, you could definitely take that with you. The spring vacation. Exactly. Okay, the next one we don't own, and Jeff has never played. I have So haven't. he has no opinion. But this is Botanic, and this is a two-player only game that I played with Michelle from Second Star to the left. And in Botanic, you're playing like this mad scientist, but it's all about like plants and stuff. So you're like building these different routes in order to make different connections to, and then suddenly flowers appear. Are you Not watering great. them? Uh, no. no. You're just like building it out. You're doing botany. You're doing botany, basically. I picked this one because, once again, plants and flowers, but it's a bit more of like a dark science So really, science this is just theme. games with plants. Yeah. I think that they pretty much all have plants. No, Q-Birds doesn't. That's just a game of birds. And Mariposas is a game of bugs. This is another plant game, but it's a bit of a darker theme. It's a two-player. It's kind of like Mad Scientist. And mm. you're creating like these weird flowers. It's not like normal stuff. Yeah, but like isn't... when I think about spring, I think about science. <laughs> <laughs> because the world is doing a lot of different science during the springtime. Oh, right. Chemistry okay. is changing. Biology is flourishing <laughs> everywhere. There's new plants and animals. Trees are growing. Things are sprouting. And that's science. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to say, science just goes, yeah, it's winter. 
Yeah, it See does. you in the spring. It gets too cold. What? Science says that. <laughs> Science says that, definitely. Anyways, that's Botanic. And it was a terrible explanation, but I definitely think you should try it if you are too. It did look primary. good. I didn't play it, but it did look fun. It was really fun. I really liked it. Next, we have uh, another one that we own, and that is Arboretum. Why? Our Arboretum. It's our Arboretum because in the springtime is when the trees bud. This is very all relevant just to Canada and to places that have the full on different seasons mm, also. That's fair. But in Canada, when the winter ends- Not just Canada. In Canada and other places, but I'm in Canada, so that's what I'm referring it to. Then all the trees start budding and our Arboretum is all about trees. We like to call it mean trees. And there's actually some trees in here that look like maybe they're sprouting. There's a Canadian maple. There is? Yep. Yeah. It's right there. Arboretum is a very, I don't very... actually know if it's a Canadian maple. It's but... probably just a maple. I don't think there's such a thing called a Canadian maple. There absolutely is. Do you want me to Google it? Yeah, I, now I need, to, I, need, I need to know. Stay tuned for Jamie being wrong. The generic maple species. Yeah, but that's just because they're from Canada. So if it's in What does a Canadian maple look like? It looks like a maple. Can you grow Canadian maple trees in Australia? <laughs> because maybe the Canadian maple trees aren't uh, native to Australia. Just maple trees are. We have an arborist here, tree expert, tree you know I Do you think it keeps saying Canadian maple? Because it's in Canada. But it is just a maple tree. It's just a maple tree. We've just kind of claimed it as our own. It's just a maple tree, people. Problem solved. Mystery solved. Okay, Arboretum. This is a card game that is very, very mean and very, very set fun. Collection. It's a set collection game where essentially you are trying to build out different different sets of different species of trees, but you only get to score the trees if you have the largest set and you have the highest card in your hand of that type of tree. So you can purposely hold on to one of the high cards. Like if I see that Jeff is building all those Canadian maples, I can hold on to the eight card because then if I have at least one set of Canadian maples, then I get to score them and he doesn't get to score them. So it's a very like mean take back game. It's very mean. Yes. And you're also like building out paths. So it's like set paths. Mm -hmm. And in the springtime, all the pathways clear from the trails. I was wondering how long you were going to do that for. Until you got the point. Next up, and this one might be a bit of a stretch, but that's okay. So the next game I'm recommending is Calico from AEG. Now, I thought about this one for spring because in the springtime, it's still just a little chilly, you know? You're not full on shorts and t-shirts, so you kind of, you want a quilt. And you want to know what goes on a quilt is a cat. Cats are very springtime because that's when cats have their kittens. <laughs> Also, the colors in this game are also very <laughs> springy. We have greens and pinks and blues and yellows and purples. And you're probably thinking, those are just colors, but they're springtime colors. And look at this cat. Doesn't he look like he's basking in a nice spring sunshine? It does, yeah. Exactly. He looks like he's in a sunroom. It's been cold all winter. Yeah. And then it's a nice spring day. The sun's coming into the sunroom. He's found his quilt and he's like, I'm going to curl up See, here. See, now you're getting the right get idea. Warm. Freaking kids on their dirt bikes. That's another sign of spring. That is true. That is God. definitely a sign of spring. Anyways, Calico is a very puzzly, objective based game where you are trying to please a cat by building out the exact kind of quilt that that cat wants. Cats are very picky. We all know this. It's a great game. It's very springy for all of the reasons that we I've already said. Oh. Cats, spring. Blankets, spring. Blankets could go either way. It mm -hmm. could really fall into almost any season for us. But I think that this quilt, it's a light quilt with a cat, is very spring. And maybe the quilt has spring patterns on it. It does. Look at it. Yellow, purple, flowers. There's one leaves. that's leaves. Spring. Spring. Next up, we have Mountains Out of Molehills. Now, this is a new game from the op that we have. I don't know if the review is up yet or if it will be coming up, but we either already have or will have a full review of this game. So either go look for it or stay tuned. <laughs> One or the other. Anyways, I picked this game because when do moles start building their mountains? In the spring, because they can't do it in the winter, they're hibernating, I think they hibernate here. And then in the springtime, that's when they gotta get to work. Because ground the, soft. the ground is soft, it's a little bit mucky, but they don't mind. So no, that's when- They love muck. That's when moles build their mole hills, yeah. which eventually will turn into mountains. Yeah, you call them mountains. Mountains out of mole hills. This is, like I said, a new game from the op where you are playing as different mole characters and you are building mole hills and turning those mole hills into mountains, yep. toppling those mountains over yep. to score points and to become the master tunneler. You want that title. And usually when competitions like that happen, it would be in the springtime. <laughs> 
for moles anyways. It just seems like the best You're time right. to do it. You are right. And look at all of these spring, well, it looks a little bit more fall than spring. No, there's flowers. Okay, look at this springy time box. Flowers, berries, adorable moles. I think you circled the flowers sunshine. when you said berries. Flowers. Yep. Berries. Those are flowers. What? Those look like tulips. Tulips. Oh, tulips are very spring. They come up even before other flowers. Very, very quickly too. Very they quickly. only last like a week. They're here and then they're gone. Yeah. This game is super, super fun. You could play it with pretty much anyone. Mm -hmm. It is very unique. We really like it. If you want to smell spring, this game would smell if like there was, spring. If there was a spring board game store, this would be in it. This would definitely be in it. And one of the moles is a hippie and has a flower in her hat. She's just seeing that now. I just saw that now. Next up, since we're talking about animals, we have Cascadia, which is also from AEG and Flat Out Games, same as Calico. Cascadia is all about all animals, and because the animals come out during the springtime, they're you know they're around in the winter, but they're not doing much, trying to Depends stay warm, on the animal. eating. Well, there's no polar bears in this. Grizzly bears. Grizzlies. Grizzly bears, foxes, caribou or elk. I don't know which one. Fish. Uh, I think eagles. These are all springtime animals. I mean, it's it's fair. It's like... That's when they all kind of become yeah, super bears, active again. Bears come out... The grizzlies come out of hibernation. They're hungry. Yes. They're hunting. Fish are migrating. Yep. Elk are migrating yep. to warmer temps. The fox are looking for fox food. Fox are looking for food. Yeah. Eagles finding more food because the not everything The eagle one's hiding. a bit of a stretch because they would probably still be hunting in the winter too. But. How could they? Where would they find their mice? I don't know. I guess they question. can eat fish. They eat fish, yeah. I don't really know much about eagles. Cascadia is all experts. about animals in like the springtime and then there's water and basically in this game you're laying out tiles to build out almost like an ecosystem but you have to then also get animals onto those tiles in order for them to score points and they all score points in different ways so mm. like eagles want something they want to be kind of alone they don't want to be around yeah, any other eagles that's right eagles want to be loners whereas fish want to be in schools fish want to be all in schools mm -hmm. and like there's all these different placement rules so basically you're building out an ecosystem yep and that is very very spring. Such a good game. There might even be like a spring in this, like water. <laughs> Oh, and there's pine cones. And when do you find there pine, is pine cones? cones? In the spring? Fall. Also in the fall. <laughs> they're I on think the, they're more so in the fall. They're on the trees in the spring. They're on the ground in the fall. So mm -hmm. that's when they've gone bad. They're dead. They're, they're dead. dead. They've dead. <laughs> Their parents are dead. <laughs> they've dead. Now we have one last game and then two honorable mentions. This one makes the most sense for me. This one makes the most sense for everybody. And that game is Honey Buzz. This game literally has everything that you need to have a good spring. Okay, in Honey Buzz... This is all happening during the spring because the bees are making their little bee babies so that they can make more honey to sell. These are business bees and business is booming in the spring for the bees because that's when the flowers are blooming. That's when the pollen is at its peak, its sweet peak. That's true. There's a bunch of animals in it. You're collecting different resources. You're foraging. And when you think of foraging, obviously you're doing that in the springtime. Nobody that is forages true. in other Nobody seasons. Nobody forages in any other season. Just spring. And then there's like little flowers and there this is. is so spring. This is it's like very spring. This game, I, I would, love it. This this would be spring in, in a box. This would be in the window. Yeah. Of the of the spring, spring store. door game store. Yeah, exactly. Calico might be a little bit further back. Mm -hmm. Although it makes sense to put it in the window because the cat's getting window window warm. Window warmth. <laughs> That's all we ever want. This game has like a ton of different mechanics. It's kind of hard to describe it, but there's worker placement, there's resource gathering, there's objectives, mm -hmm. there's bees, there's everything. Mm -hmm. You're building out like your, your beehive to create more nectar, more honey to yep. sell. Spring building out business. your little uh, bee economy. Economy. Nice. Nice. <laughs> honey buzz is by far, like just look at it. This is the most spring your game you can get. Your beeconomy. Yeah, it's your beeconomy. <laughs> Okay, so that's Honey Buzz. Uh, now, we have two honorable mentions, and they're honorable, uh, honorable, honorable. They're honorable mentions because we haven't played them yet, but I know that they're gonna be good. And the first one is Meadow. I feel like I don't even need to say anything about this. This is very obviously a springtime game. There's flowers, there's bugs, there's animals. There's a meadow. There's, there's a meadow. The meadow comes out to play in the springtime because the snow is gone. There's berries and we've never played it. So I don't fully know what it's about except, oh my God, it's so cute. Look how springy that Can is. Can you stop moving this? Sorry. Nature observing wanderers, most skilled observer. Yeah, you're looking for small rodents. 
spot a bu spot a buzzard hunting prey or even see an adder. Spot a bud. Yeah, this is adorable. It is obviously a very good springtime game that we just haven't played yet. So that's an honorable mention. And then this one. Do you want me to get it for you? So the very last game on our list is probably the most spring of all because it's right in the title and that is Dwarves Spring. So this is the third installment of the Dwarves series. There's fall, winter, spring. This one has dragons in it. Dragons are very spring. Everybody knows that. We haven't had a chance to play this one yet. We do own this obviously with all of the expansions. So we're looking forward to getting into this. Do you know what a Dwarves favorite season is? Spring. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we did it at the same time. Anyways, we haven't played this one yet. I think this one might have something to do with tile placement. Not 100% sure. Grow your empire. Flowers blossom. Oh my gosh, it even says on the back, spring. flowers blossom. Anyways, this is a honorable mention because we haven't played it yet, but you obviously can't get more spring. And I mean the artwork, like look at that. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love the artwork. I'm obsessed with it. There's leprechauns. And baby dragons. And baby dragons, bebes. That is our list of springtime games. Very interested to know down below what you think about our list. Someone's gonna be like, here's what? the most obvious spring game that you didn't mention. It's, is there something probably even behind probably. this? Probably. Probably. Anyways, this is our springtime games that we would recommend for you to play if you are interested in getting into the springtime mood. Who doesn't want to get into the springtime mood? Really? I do. I would love for it After to be a long time. Canadian winter. Yeah. Yes, please. Our give Canadian me, maples just shook the last flakes me, of snow off of them. Give me some them. spring. Now, if you're interested in buying board games, like any of the ones that we just mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax, that is... Boardroom Game Cafe. Yeah, and they're open in the spring. They are open in the spring. That's for sure. Smart. It's spring now and they're definitely open. They're definitely open. Now that's all that we have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later it is. Oh, it died? It freaking died? <clears throat> you always do that. What? Yo. <sighs> The up thing's the black on my eye this time. What? It's not white. The thing that has my eye is black. It's always white. See it? Looks like I have an eye tattoo. That's weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be the same. Oh well. I say yeah. oh well, and then the movie will be all janky. Well, this video is not going. We're up today. a little bit away from that, I think. It's March twenty second. However, we did just have fifteen degree weather. Spring smell reminds me of soccer. Football. Oh no, fall smell reminds me of football. So let's just. I'm just jump... gonna sit here and listen to you talk. Yeah, that's nice. You can throw in every now and then, and you get weight. <laughs> How does it work? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. What? what? This is about Shakespeare. <laughs> it does nothing to do with spring. Yes, it does. Flowers are springtime, Jeff. It doesn't matter if it's about spring. Does it make me feel like spring? <laughs> I'm laughing at you because this is ridiculous. Why? Because it is. It isn't. Everything I've said up to this point has been scientific. Mm -hmm. It's spring, so I can accurately say that. We live in a rural area and there's kids on dirt bikes. I live in the sticks. Everywhere. In the boonies. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it has. <laughs> I can't. This is ludicrous. <laughs> Okay. Jeff, we're like serious YouTubers. Be professional. Not today, Pam. Be professional. Yeah, get it together. Get it together. Okay, honey buzz. What does it have? Bees. Honey. <laughs> we're never going to get through this. <laughs> I was going to say buzz next. <laughs> Buzzing. So honey buzz is everything that you need. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like a goddamn infomercial. <laughs> honey Buzz has everything you need. It does. Okay. It has honey. <laughs> it, it has bees. bees. It has buzz. It has buzz. People are buzzing about it. Oh god. Anyways, what are you looking at? I want to see if there's if there's any games that we forgot. Wingspan. Wingspan.